after failing to qualify in the women's discus at the ongoing Paris Olympic Games, Jamaica's Daniel Thomas Dodd expresses her frustration with the J3As and the JOA. Hmm. Plus, there is an emerging story about top-tier U.S. athletes accused of doping. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we continue to go. Do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. Drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and finally leave your thoughts. Are you ready? Yep. Good to go. Well, first of all, there's a sport a doping um, allegation. Well, I, I, not, not quite an allegation, but story evolving. And this is alleged. Now, we got this uh, story from Damon Mitchell's Twitter feed. It says, developing, WADA underscore AMA has confirmed that the U.S. anti-doping agency, USADA, allowed at least three American athletes who committed serious anti-doping violations to continue to compete for years while they acted as undercover agents. WADA says it's never... Apologies. WADA says it never approved this. Hmm. According to WADA, the USADA scheme threatened the integrity of sporting, of sporting competition, which the code seeks to protect. It said by allowing drug cheats to continue competing, USADA was in clear breach of rules. Quote, it is ironic and hypocritical that USADA cries foul when it suspects others, other anti-doping organizations are not following the rules to the letter while it did not announce doping cases for years and allowed cheats to carry on competing. On, uh, end quote. <laughs> uh, this quote came from WADA themselves. The names of the offending athletes have not been released, but WADA describes one as an elite athlete and another as a high-level athlete. The sporting body also said when it learned of the scheme in 2021, it instructed USADA to immediately stop, stop the practice. Uh, international events in the United States admitted to taking steroids and EPO yet was permitted to continue compens uh, competing all the way up to retirement. Their case was never published. Results never disqualified, prize money never returned, and no suspension ever served. The athlete was allowed to line up against their unknowing com com competitors competitions apologies why people that's something i find here as if they had never cheated in that case when usad eventually admitted to wada what had been going on it advised that any publication of consequences or disqualification of results would put the athlete's security at risk and ask wada to agree to non publication being put in this impossible position wada had no choice but to agree after verifying with its intelligence my people i don't even know how to respond to this <laughs> i don't even know well i guess them say danke said the world no level right so i guess the rules of the usa Right name again no anyway the anti-drugging agency for the usa i guess freedom rules different from everybody else rules right well this is all alleged you know so i mean i'm just underlying that to protect my, my channel but i mean wow wow and apparently this was a top tier athlete that they allowed to compete right into retirement right into retirement but we're I mean, not easy you know we're not easy wow had that been a Jamaican athlete or an athlete from any other, you know, country that was not a superpower, I can't imagine what would happen to that athlete's career. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this one, people. So, doping accusations by WADA uh, regarding USA athletes. Let me know what you think. Now, we heard Lamar Distin. Uh, complain about the same thing, lack of support by the J3s and they would not allow her coach into the camp. Now to hear the veteran, Daniel Thomas Dodd, 
um, who unfortunately did not qualify for the final round of the women's discus alongside fellow Jamaican and Cameron. Um, neither ladies were able to advance uh, Cameron from Group A and Daniel Thomas Dodd from Group B. Um, but Daniel Thomas Dodd spoke uh, at length with the Jamaica Observer. We took the liberty of um, share, we're going to share this interview here. Um, big up to the Jamaica Observer. And uh, I, we just wanted you to hear this from Daniel Thomas Dodd. She's complaining about the J3As and the JOA. Um, am I correct in the JOA? The, the Jamaica Olympic Committee, JOC, I think. Um, I, I found this interesting because, like I said, I heard Lamar Distin complain about the same thing. Anyway, listen. I'm very disappointed, obviously. Um, it's something that is more than within my capabilities of doing. Um, you know, unfortunately, just didn't come together on the day. It's the second Olympics now that I've finished in the 13th spot. It's the second Olympics now that <laughs> I've requested to have my uh, coach with me and was denied. I've been sitting in the village for two and a half weeks, essentially practicing on my own because um, I was denied the privilege of not having my, my coach get any accreditation so that he could at least have access to the training facilities. Um, oh man, I'm so sick and tired. So, so sick and tired. It's just, it's frustrating and it's for everything that I've done so far for this nation of Jamaica and what I've done for throws in Jamaica. You would think that the least I could get is the respect um, that I, I feel like I deserve in, in, in a way that, you know, Give me that privilege. Give me, give me what all of my competitors have. And um, you know, it's it's tough going into a competition when you know mentally everything. Mentally, you 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 wish things were different. Um, like I said, I don't think it's it's anything that I was um, physically not possible, um, not able to do. It's uh, like I said, it's just frustrating having to deal with an organization that has no respect for the field events in Jamaica. Um, two organizations who have no, I feel like no, no, I don't think understanding is the word. Um, I just think it's a, a lack of regard or, or a lack of respect. And it's so ironic that the only gold medal we have gotten so far has not come from the truck. It has come from a thrower. And we are the most marginalized group within Jamaica track and field. And it needs to stop. You know, it's, 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 it's frustrating. It's very frustrating to watch everyone out there, you know, having everything that they need to their comfort. And, um, <laughs> man, I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's very frustrating and it's very heartbreaking also. <laughs> like, all the, like most of the medals that we have gotten so far has come from field events, you know? And we are the most looked down on event event in, in, in Jamaica track and field and they keep forgetting it's not just track it is called track and field you need to invest more whether it be time or effort into making sure that your all of your athletes are comfortable I was not comfortable two and a half weeks in the village and I had no coach it's frustrating you're talking about almost 365 days of training and just like that I was robbed of that opportunity to be in that final, and I know that it is something that I was more than capable of doing. Two and a half weeks. And, and I don't want anyone to say, oh, but you could have done video call. It's not that simple. You're talking about someone that's not just your coach. He's my moral support. He's my massage therapist. The things that I need to do on the day of competition, I was not able to do today because all those things required my coach to be there, and he was not there to help me get through that process. I had to do everything, all of it, by myself. You understand me? And it's frustrating. I'm so sick and tired of it. It's, 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 it's almost like an uphill battle. I'm so, so frustrated and sick and tired of this because it needs to stop. They need to do better. Both organizations, I'm not saying one or the other, they are both responsible in this situation and they both need to take accountability because it cannot continue like this. If we're going to continue to grow field events in Jamaica, they need to do things differently. Something needs to change or else it's going to continue to be like this. 
Now, this, of course, is my two cents. This is very unfortunate because, like I said, we heard this same complaint from Lamar Distin. And I suspect that these athletes at this level wouldn't just be complaining for the sake of, you know, complaining. Certainly not. Uh, Daniel Thomas Dodd, who is iconic regarding sh women's shot put in Jamaica, across the world and in the Caribbean. Um, so what do we do about this? Well, here's a challenge that we have. And it's very evident in this particular Olympic Games. Maybe, you know, maybe we're being sent aside. We only concentrate on the 100 and the 200. In fact, we're not even really concentrating on the 200 and all because 99% of our athletes, our sprinters, don't run the 200. And I've been complaining about that for years. I've been saying, you want to be a great 100 meter sprinter, you must do the 4 and the 2. You must. Look at the people who are dominating, including Jamaica's own Sherika Jackson, Elaine Thompson, Hera, Shelly and Fraser. Shelly hated the 200, but anyway, I'm getting distracted from my own conversation. Um, I have been saying for years now, since I started this channel, uh, and I've been saying to all of you, we cannot be a global force in track and field if all we do are the sprints. We don't. We barely do the quarter mile. We don't do the two. We be, we we don't do the two hundred meters. We don't do the eight. We don't do the fifteen. We don't do the three thousand. And I also said we need to. We have to grow. We need to do long jump, triple jump, high jump, the throws, discus, um, shot put, javelin. We need to evolve and become a world force because we definitely have the the talent. I mean, you can see it from a Dakers um, now to. Stoner who just won gold at the Olympic Games the only gold medal we have collected thus far thus far because we're going to get another one at least two more in my opinion but my point is this we can't say we are a global dominating force in track and field and we are only a dominating force in the sprint part of the track we don't really do nothing else now we have all this phenomenal talent like a Daniel Thomas Dodd a Distin a, 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 a Romain Beckford um, Jaden Hibbert Stoner, they, I mean, they're so. I, I, I can keep going on this. We have an endless supply of immense talents. Immense. So the day three is I forget serious now. And the, the Jamaica Olympic Committee, no, I forget serious. And the, 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 the governing bodies have to get serious because when, when the athletes come out now and start speaking like this, A, it's a bad reflection on you, the organization, B, it's a bad reflection on us, the country. And it's a sign of. I call it Einsteinism, you know? <laughs> the obvious sign of madness is, is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. If you, are, if you are supporting the sprinters, you need to support the field athletes. A gold medal is a gold medal is a gold medal. When, when um, Stoner won that gold medal in the disc, discus last night, I never hear no Jamaican say, Lord, I don't want it because it's a, because it's a discus gold medal. People cheered. So, we have to get real. We have to get realistic. And the same thing with the sponsors. Because I guess if somebody are fling something heavy, they're not relevant. Because the sponsors seem to only sponsor people who are run the short sprints. They, they're not even sponsored the long sprints. Not even the 400. So, I, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm no genius here. I'm just, you know, some king on YouTube. I'm a fan. A fanatical fan. Someone was saying to me the other day, you know, you've, you've, you, you know, something. And I'm going to say, listen, boss. Um, I am no sports analyst. I do this for fun. I love track and field, all track and field, and I'm Jamaican, so you know I have a, I have a bias for towards Jamaicans. We need to do better, people. These athletes need our support in the truest sense of the word. And I'm talking to the J Trias and the Jamaica Olympic Committee or Association. I don't remember which one it is. Please, this is embarrassing, and we can do better. But this, of course is my two cents now don't forget to hit the subscribe button make sure that it like but remember your royals kings and queens bless up